What's up everybody and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh here and I'm joined with local pro Seth Overbay. What's up guys? We got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. If you hadn't done so already, please subscribe for more disc golf videos. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships in Morristown, Tennessee. And uh, we're at Cherokee Park Disc Golf Course. This is the round four back nine. Uh, Chris Dickerson is 10 down through nine holes, so a really hot start. Joey Lutz from Full Fly is nine down. Uh, Johnny McCray is eight down. Brandon Brown, five down. And Eli Ferguson is three down. So uh, 53 down for Dickerson for the tournament so far. Like I said, we're at Cherokee Park. Uh, this is an open course for the most part. Yep, these are holes that uh, the pros are going to be trying to get a two on. You know, to really try to catch Chris. Because mm -hmm. he's starting to run away with it a little bit. Ten strokes up on Joey. As I mentioned, mostly open holes. We start at this back nine on hole 12, which is fairly open once you get through this initial gap here. But it's a very tight gap off the tee. Most of your guys in your MPO division are going to be going through that gap, but there is also another gap. Um, you can take it out to the left with like a forehand, as you can see it there, to the left of Joey. But I don't think any of these guys are going to be doing that. They're all going to be trying to get the two here. Joey with an outstanding forehand. Dickerson and Joey are both up there putting for twos. Next up we got Latitude 64 sponsor Johnny McCray. Taking no time at all. Just Hmm. Sketches the last tree getting out of the gap. Mm -hmm. Fortunate to sit down though because there is OB road on the right side there. If you hit that, uh, in anything in this front area, you could get knocked OB. So fortunate he was able to sit down there. Next up, we got uh, Brandon Brown of Prodigy Discs. Yep, um, BB here is looking to just go through that gap as well with that righty backhand. Trying to, trying to throw a similar shot to all the other players. Didn't quite make it out of the gap either. Yeah. Next up, uh, local player uh, Eli Ferguson. Eli's got a, a big arm. I'd say uh, yep. best part of his game probably. You play with him a lot, Seth. Probably yep. just. Eli's a really good distance. player. He throws really far, and you know he just got a really all solid game all around. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can get through the gap. Just got up mm -hmm. some trees. A little high. Johnny trying to get up and down and save his three here. Tight gap that he's going through. I'd be worried about my hand, but looks like he didn't worry about that too much. He put a good shot up there near the basket. Mm -hmm. BB still got a little bit of work to do here. Uh, open shot. Let's see if he can set one near the basket here. Surprised to see him not jump hunting from this area. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out already, check out some of the previous coverage of 2019 Tennessee State. Uh, BB has an outstanding jump putt game. Eli, a little short. He actually got further up there than I thought he did from that uh, catch cam. Uh, might as well go ahead and give a shout out to my brother Jason Basinger for doing the catch cam. Eli here taking his time. Really wants to make this one after... Ooh, just left it wide right. Mm -hmm. I know Joey here uh, was really hoping for this too. He had uh, told me that he took a five on this hole a few years ago in States and he hasn't been able to two it since, so he's really trying to two it. That's a great two. Joey's actually the winner of the 2014 Tennessee State Championships. The first year it was an A tier. Mm -hmm. And here we got BB. Looks like he's not quite outside the circle. Trying to put this one in, stay close to Chris, because he's yet to putt again. Hmm. Mm, a little low. Needs to sit. Can we have him? Yeah, that'd be all right. Dickerson here putting for his birdie too. Let's see if he can put this one in. Taking his time, doing his routine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Great birdie. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a whole. It's not going to be gotten by a lot of the field, um, but, you know, a couple of these guys on this card are going to get it, continue to separate themselves from the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, unfortunate spit out to the right side there from Johnny. He's just going to tap his in. 
Little rat. Got a BB. Just gonna clean up for his par. Actually, I think that's for the buggy. He didn't quite get up and down. Mm -hmm. Eli for his par. Oh, wow. Unfortunate there. Yeah. He's definitely not feeling that. No. Just going to move on. Mm -hmm. Try to get that out of his head. Yeah, that one's going to hurt, but we got a short hole up next in hole 13. Uh, Dickerson now 11 down through 10 holes. Uh, moving on to hole 13, 260 feet. Uh, basically just a hyzer shot for lefty or righties, honestly. Yep. All these guys are just going to be doing their backhanded hyzer. Mm -hmm. All right-handed players. Just trying to put it close. The basket is on a slope, so that leaves a little bit of opportunity to roll away. But, you know, if you land on the right angle, it shouldn't roll away. Mm -hmm. Joey looks like he's going with a backhand as well. Yep. Every time I get the chance to film Joey, just love being able to film him. Such a nice guy. He's always, he always thanks the camera crew for getting out there and filming. It really just makes you feel good. So, mm -hmm. good shot from Joey there. He should be able to get his too. Joey not taking his time coming up to the box and just ripping a hyzer. Looks like he's going with a fairway. I don't know, something overstable and mm -hmm. getting a little bit of roll there. Asking it to sit down. <laughs> Shoots it down. Next up, once again, Prodigy sponsor Brandon Brown. Shree's sure wanting the two on this hole after that unfortunate bogey on the previous hole. Mm -hmm. It's looking good though. So most of these guys are going with. Uh, oh, he got knocked down. Yeah. Unfortunate. It didn't quite go wide enough. I'd say these are mid ranges or putters, probably, wouldn't you say, Seth? Yeah, I would assume so. As Johnny, you played more of a spot play with what looked like a fairway. It's looking like, I think that's a zone for Mila. Mm -hmm. Good Great shot, shot yep. Mm -hmm. So BB down here at the bottom of the hill. A little bit of bad camera work on my part. I apologize for that. I didn't quite get down there for that one. Johnny putting for his two. Up, up the hill after that roll. Mm -hmm. He no still problem. makes the putt though. Johnny, as uh, Seth mentioned in an earlier video, a lot older than the rest of these guys, but he's up there with them. He yep. stays right up with them. The Just as good as anybody on this card. Mm -hmm. yep. Another birdie from Chris. Mm -hmm. I was Pushing confident to... he was going to nail that one. Yeah, yeah. Eli looking for his two as well. Take his time. That's a great birdie to get after that bogey on the previous hole. I'm sure that one feels good. Joy with a downhill putt here. This kind of gets in your head putting towards this down here. Luckily, he's pretty close, so he's probably not thinking about it that much. But And you can see BB's upshot here was just absolutely perfect, just right underneath the basket. Joey doing absolutely everything he can. He's 11 down through 11 holes, and he's still one back of Dickerson, so there's not much he can do there. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on to the longest hole on the course, hole 14, 635 foot. This is a par 4. Uh, there is OB on the right side and OB on the left as well, but normally that doesn't come into play on this hole. No. These guys are just, as you can see, Chris, they're giving a little bit of angle. Um, I would say being a little bit more to the right side of the fairway leaves the hyzer play for the righties more open, so that's what these guys are going to be trying to do, just get over there a little bit more to the right. Mm -hmm. Plus you're a little bit more uphill, so you get a... Better chance, better look at the yep. the trees up there. Joey here with his forehand. It's absolutely mashing it. That's a great spot to be mm -hmm. over there to the right. For sure. Next up, we got uh, Johnny McRae. It's looking like that gold line recoil that he was smashing on the previous rounds. Mm -hmm. He's been absolutely bombing this thing all weekend. And that's looking really far. That's way out there. Oh, yeah. If you had to put a, a uh, distance on that, what would you think? Seth? I'd say 485, 500 feet probably. It's a great shot. Now, Eli here, uh, I mean, you might not know his name, but... 
he's got a very big arm as well as you can see here displaying that yeah that's looking great that's crushed yeah, that's a great shot from Eli that's yeah. really far up there looks like he was only about 10 feet behind Dickerson's drive so that shows you how big of an arm he has Brandon Brown up next core team D2 just ripping on it it's looking good too mm -hmm. got some great turn on it right there with everybody else mm -hmm. so Joey up first with his approach shot here looks like he's just gonna go with the forehand kinda help with the slope a little bit some good skip he's got a putt for a three for sure next up we got BB Brendan Brown Throwing a hazard with a putter mid range of some sort, I would say. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to throw it super hard. Looks like he just flipped that one and threw it a little bit too straight. Mm -hmm. Looks like Eli's going to go standstill. Eli here was one of the players in the uh, BDGC basket bracket. If you hadn't checked that out, make sure you check that out. That looks pretty good. Mm hmm. Johnny as well going standstill. Being that far really uh, makes the second shot a whole lot easier. Oh, yeah. Especially with Dickerson here. Really far up the fairway. Just being able to go standstill putter. Absolutely. So, as you can see here, there is a slope down behind the basket. Um... That gets in players' heads sometimes, so maybe BB giving it maybe a half go. Or you might be running it. We'll see. Mm. A little left. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to roll down because that can add a couple strokes to your score here. Eli putting down towards the basket as well. Probably having that heel slope in his head. Mm -hmm. Just left that one high. Can't be too mad missing that one high. Mm -hmm. Fortunate to sit down as well. BB coming back up the hill. Just left that one high as well. Joey. For his three. Show. You're just Ooh. putting a very solid round together. And BB coming back. Yeah, you really needed that one. That's a good putt. Mm -hmm. Looks like Johnny's going to tap in his. Also for a birdie three. Yep. And once again, Chris is going to come up here and <laughs> we'll tap in. We'll eventually get to Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's a great second shot. So after 14, Dickerson at 13 down and Joey at 12 down. Joey's trying to chase him down. Um, hole 15 now, 360 feet. Uh, par 3, uh, this one's uh, a tunnel shot. There is a lefty hyzer shot, but probably not going to see any of these guys go with a flick on the outside. Uh, they're going to be trying to go right down through the middle with some sort of flip up or turnover shot. Yeah, this... this uh plays a little bit better for the uh, righty backhand because the hole finishes slightly to the left and Dickerson mm. just hit an early tree there on the left that might be his first mistake of the round honestly yep. as you can see Joey's gonna try to flip up this righty forehand he was uh, asking about the OB there there is an OB path on the right side that curls around behind the basket as well Good ways behind the basket, though. Mm -hmm. Looks like he hit the exact same tree, maybe, as Chris. Notice he didn't take quite advantage of that. Dickerson mistake. Johnny turned his. He's flirting with OB there. Looks like it's flexing back. Actually goes long past the basket OB. 
is actually a hole that uh, Seth probably don't want me to shout this out, but he got a BDGC backtrack on this hole yep. during uh, one of our tournaments we hosted. Eli just looking to do the same up the gap, flip up a little bit. Looks like he's done that pretty well. Mm -hmm, for sure. Really straight. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a great shot. BB looks like he's going with a flick. Yeah, um, right now, with all the leaves on the trees, it's not quite as open as it usually is, but looks like he made it work. Mm -hmm. That's great forehand. So Joey first up here on the approach shot, got knocked down early. Yep, out near the basket. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, if you can get up there on that little putt and green area, uh, at least the players uh, at this level are going to be hitting that putt. See Johnny here, he went OB long, so he's just going to take his meter and Try to put this one in to save the par. Mm -hmm. Pretty good ways away from the basket still, though. Mm. Ooh, off the band. Mm -hmm. good Great run. run. Yeah. BB straddling out with that one tree yeah, it's... left in his way. It's... Maybe an uncomfortable stance, but... Looks like he's having to go with a little bit of a hyzer putt as well, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. not quite his normal putt and just couldn't get enough on it maybe. Mm -hmm. Eli here looking for the only two. Pick up a stroke on the card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Able to do so. Great birdie. Yeah. Johnny with his unfortunate OB stroke there is going to be taking the bogue. Dickerson, if I'm not mistaken, first par of the round. Is that right? Yep. It's pretty good when you can get to hole 15 and get your first par. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that's good. Joey tapping in his three. And BB to do the same. Mm -hmm. Probably not too happy after missing that one, but moving on to the next hole. Mm -hmm. This is a hole, hole 16, that all these pros should be getting. It's 310 feet downhill. Mm -hmm. It's kind of flick a overstable mid-range of some sort. Mm -hmm. Good lefty hole, and uh, it, we may see some turnover shots with a putter as well. That's a common play on this hole also. Some kind of left or right moving shot, and that's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to skip well as well. Oh. A little long, but... Yeah, might have went a little deep, actually. Dickerson, surprisingly, going turnover, in my opinion. Uh, he has a great sidearm, so to see him do this is a little weird. That's looking great. Oh, yeah. He's very good at the turnover, turnover as well. <laughs> yep. He's going to make that putt. Yeah, for sure. Joey going to the flick. No surprise to see that outstanding forehand game. Yep. It's great. <laughs> BB going flick as well. Looks like he's actually going fairway. A little wide. Decent skip. Mm -hmm. Gonna have a obstructed putt though. I suspect Johnny's gonna be turning this over. He's been throwing some amazing turnovers with this disc all weekend. That is a moonshine keystone it looks like. Mm -hmm. That's looking like it's a great shot. Good turnover. Oh yeah. Absolutely great. BB looking like he has the farthest putt of the round. Or hole. Mm. Yeah. A little bit of unfortunate putting struggles from BB. Uh, he's been canning huge putts all weekend. so uh, A little off today. Johnny able to tap in his birdie? Eli as well. Mm -hmm. 
should be no problems for him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he tunes this hole a few times a week. Yeah. Joe here as well. Staying on track. Having a good round. Mm hmm BB just getting his par. Mm -hmm. Dickerson after his only par of the round so far on the last hole, he's back to getting another birdie. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to come back. You just don't let. It's funny saying uh, let a, don't let a par affect you, but I guess when you're Dickerson, those are your problems, right? Yeah. Uh, moving on to hole 17, 480 feet. Uh, this one's a par four as well. Uh, most of these guys can reach this hole. Uh, and should be able to get up there for a putt for a two if they get uh, the right turn on their disc. Yeah, they're going to be looking to just throw it pretty straight, maybe a little bit of flip up. Eli there flipping his up. Just looks like it might catch that tree. Just got around. Got around it. Yep, inside. he's going to be putting. Dickerson, righty back in as well. Looks like that's his D two. Taking his good run up as always. Yeah, that's looking good. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to go inside that tree as well. Oh, unfortunately, hit and got knocked yeah. down. Actually, hit the tree. Mm -hmm. Joe going with the forehand. Probably looking to get some left turn on this one. Yeah, it looks like oh, it looks oh. like he just turned that one too much. Mm -hmm. It rolled down there. Fortunately, he got pretty far down there. Yeah, it actually rolled forward a good bit, but it ended up going back. Mm -hmm. Remember Johnny McRae? One of the things he mentioned to me during this tournament, this tee pad, uh, which I've noticed as well, it's a little bit uphill and it's mm -hmm. just a little bit awkward footing on this tee pad. Yep. For this being such a long hole, it's hard to step up on that tee mm -hmm. with it being a little bit uneven. And that's a great line. Might even have went too far. Yeah, he's in the left side there on those. Uh, well, on the right side of the fairway, it was the left side of the screen there. Um, he ended up in those trees right there, unfortunately. CBB also flipping up a driver. That's looking good. A lot of distance. On oh, man. Caught the last tree. The one you have to beat. If he missed that tree, he would be probably, inside the circle. Putting. Yeah, definitely. Joey probably getting that one a pretty good run. Mm -hmm. Looks like BB's might have rolled back a little bit. Yep. He just put that one under the pin, though. Mm -hmm. You think uh, Chris is trying to be aggressive here or just sit this um, one out there? Who knows? Yeah. It looks like he just laid that one up, though. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite give it enough. You can see, well, okay, so Johnny ended a little bit to the right of all of that there. Just turbo it? putting. Mm -hmm. Just laying that one up, maybe. Yeah, up and down. So Eli here looking for uh, the only two, trying to gain another stroke on the card. Yep. This one is listed as a par four by the course designer and tournament director. Yeah, that's a great putt by Eli there. Mm -hmm, for sure. Once again, picking up another stroke on the card. Started out a little bit slow, but... Last few holes, we've been picking it up. Mm -hmm. Two strokes Putting and a pretty three good holes. Yeah. Yep. Joey just getting the three. No shame in a three on this one. No. Dickerson tapping in. BB going to do the same. Then we're going to have Johnny tapping in also. So uh, 58 down for the tournament for Dickerson. Lutzer's behind him, 10 strokes behind him. Uh, going on to hole 18, 455 feet. Another par four, uh, OB to the right. You can see that walking path there. Uh, and then there is OB long and left, uh, long left, but it's not going to come into play for sure. Might even see a few guys. I'm not sure. Um, in years past, I've seen a couple guys go Roddy Hauser around those poles. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're just, Eli there's just going to be throwing the turnover, try to get up there and give himself a putt. Mm -hmm. 
and that's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just a little short, not quite high enough. I'd say most of these guys, if they, if they get the right flex on their disc, they could probably reach this. Oh, yeah, everybody on this card mm -hmm. definitely has the capability of two in this hole. While it does say 455, it's significantly uphill. Mm -hmm. Plays quite a bit longer than that, I would say. Dickerson just didn't get any turn on that whatsoever. It's hazarding out to the left side. Yeah, he's up there, though. I mean, that's crushed. Mm -hmm. Joey looks to be going with a forehand. Yep. Uh, forehand may be a little more aggressive because you're uh, going towards the OB when you're... Your disc is fading out. Yep, it looks like he didn't quite turn that over enough. It's heading towards. Flirting over there. Unfortunately, yeah. just rolls OB. Yep. <laughs> Not sure what he had going on there, but Johnny was cracking us up all weekend. Huge turnover. Just turned it maybe a little bit too much. Unfortunately, Slightly that one ended well. up OB also. Yeah. BB here. Also going back in. Yeah, he looks like he gave that one enough flex. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe just not high enough. He ended up being out. He's just gonna jump putt up. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be walking away with this three for sure there. So Dickerson, as you can see here, I said the left uh, OB wouldn't be coming into play, but he got pretty close to it. That's yeah. a lot of distance to get up that far. Joey here looking to save his three. Not lose another one to Dickerson. Ooh. Mm, almost. A great run by Joey. Oh, yeah, for sure. We got Eli up next. Looking for another two. Trying to get another stroke on some of these guys. Yep. Be another stroke on the card if he puts this one in. Mm -hmm. And not quite. Maybe a little bit of nerves. We said Eli, a local player. Playing with some top touring pros here. So yep. great to see him on this card. Johnny, after his uh, unfortunate OB, taking no time, just putting. And he knew that one was in before it left his hand. That's yep. just... He let it go and just followed it in. Mm -hmm. Let's get a backtrack on that one. See that again. Just immediately starts walking. He knows that one's in. No doubter. Outstanding putt from Johnny. What a par save. Actually, uh, that would be a birdie. Yeah, he actually yeah, saved the birdie saved three the birdie, on this par yeah. four. Birdie and OB normally don't go in the same sentence, but Johnny made it work. Yep. Eli tapping in his birdie three. And Joey after the OB getting a four. Mm -hmm. And Chris with another easy birdie. We've got two holes left here. Going, we'll be playing holes one and hole two. And uh, Dixon, as you can see, it's 16 down, so... He's looking to try and uh, tie the course record, which is set was set by uh, Calvin Heimberg, a 44 at Cherokee Park. So. Eli first up on the tee here. Whole one's a short 265 feet, but there is OB long. Whew, whew, almost. I'll put that one in. Mm -hmm. Skip down a little bit long. There is uh, OB down at the bottom of that hill, so uh, this is why most of these guys are going to be going with a putter here. Something that'll sit down soft. Dickerson going wide, Heiser. Yep. And he knows exactly how hard to throw it. Is that his park? Mm-hmm. So it looks like Dickerson's going to be walking away. 17 down after 17 holes. Johnny, once again, taking no time. Ooh. Almost skipped that one in. Looks like he went with a fairway. Maybe a yep. lot of skip Might have been playing for this kick. Who knows? Mm -hmm. BB just throwing a putter of some sort. He puts it really close as well. Yeah, that's perfect. 
Joey's going with a forehand. Yep. Nice and wide. Gonna need some skip. Mm -hmm. No. And it's roll. Press Unfortunately, what you can't see here, it actually rolled all the way down oh. OB. So that's very unfortunate. This is, yeah, this is for his three. Wasn't able to make it. He also rolled down the hill, but he didn't quite make it all the way to the OB. Mm -hmm. Johnny looking for his birdie too. He's got to be feeling good after that last putt on hole 18. Yep. Yeah. You can tell he's feeling it. Yeah, doing a little <laughs> something there. Not quite sure what that is, but. <laughs> he was having fun all weekend out there. <laughs> Next up, uh, BB's putting for his two. Yeah, he puts that one in. Joey, the unfortunate OB stroke, come yeah. over and just gonna put in that four. Hate to see that. He was putting a very, very solid round together. Great round, actually. And unfortunately, two OBs in the last two holes. Dickerson, once again, a birdie. Eli gonna tap in his birdie as well. Moving on to the last hole the uh, day here, we got hole two. It's another par four. Um, it is reachable. All these guys, you know, have the opportunity to give themselves a putt for the eagle. So let's just see what they can do here. Mm -hmm. And uh, 535 feet, uh, Dickerson actually looking. Uh, we heard that Dickerson's trying to run this, trying to go for a two for this to uh, to try and break the course record. So we'll see what he can do. Maybe going a little bit flippier than normal, you know, trying to attack. And it looks like it's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. He might have turned it over. Oh, just bit. ended up a little bit too turned, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's up there, though. Mm -hmm. Johnny, leaving his birdie bag on the tee there, kind of surprised, and hopped right over it with no problems. And getting that one up there with a lot of turn. Nice and high. Oh, yeah, that's crushed. He's actually up against the tree. You're going to be putting there for an eagle. Mm-hmm. BB as well, ripping on a hyzer. And he just came out a little early. Mm -hmm. Still fine, though. Eli, as we mentioned, got a big arm, so he's going to be looking to flip this up here, get some turn on oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's Quite a bit of turn, good. looking nice. Yep, he's up there, too, putting. Mm-hmm. Joey looking to throw a big sidearm turnover to flex on out. Yeah, not sure what that disc is, but he's been crushing it sidearm. Plenty of turn on it, and that's way up there. Yep. BB here, he's just going to try to get up and down, try to finish off this round. The easy three, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Dickerson looking to get up and down. Maybe not quite giving that one a run, just kind of laying it up, mm -hmm. trying to finish on a good note. Joey may be being a little bit more aggressive here. He's higher up on the hill. Looks like he's going with a jump putt. Yep. And Ooh. just left it short. Definitely mm -hmm. trying to give it a run, though. Mm -hmm. Eli looks like he's forced to do like an Anheuser putt here with that tree in his way. Ooh, and just left that one low. Mm -hmm. You got Johnny here with the only real look at two. Oh, yeah. Great way to finish the round. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's a great two. Uh, it's, like Seth said, it can be twoed, but it's not as common as some of the other holes on this course. It's going to give him some momentum going into the final nine, maybe, you know, make a move mm -hmm. towards Chris or Joey. Mm -hmm. Ooh. BB left that one a little bit low, but it fortunately skipped up and in. Yep. The rest of these guys are just going to come in and tap this in, hopefully. Just finish off their rounds as well. Yep. 
Yeah. Good birdie from Eli. Mm -hmm. Dixon, if he hits this one, I'm pretty sure he will. Yep. Yep. That's 18 down yep. on course par. Yeah, PC just uh, ends up shooting a 44, which is really solid out there. Um, it's going to be pushing himself away from the field. As you see there, he's got 13 strokes on Joey mm -hmm. heading into the final nine. Uh, Johnny McCray and Joey Lutz both shooting 14 down, which is also just a great score out there. In years past, that would be up there for the hot round almost in Tennessee State. But Dickerson just slots out here today. Um, if you haven't already, please check out some of our previous coverage, uh, rounds one, two, and three. And we also have the final nine at Rotary Blue Pins coming up very soon as well. So make sure you stick around and subscribe for that. Uh, once again, I want to thank Seth for joining me here on the commentary. Yep, I enjoyed it. Thanks for having me again. Mm -hmm. well, we'll try and get you back on the final nine as well. And uh, thanks to my brother Jason for joining me and doing the catch cam on the weekend. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, uh, slash Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. And huge, huge thank you to our Patreon supporters. You see their names listed in the bottom corner there. Uh, if you want to join them on Patreon and support our efforts, uh, check us out at patreon.com slash bdgc. So, Thanks for watching.